Today I'm actually going to go through a few different ingredients in skincare products which are really beneficial to the skin. So I hope this is going to help you guys. I'm just going to go through a few ingredients that I know are really good and that all have scientific backing, all have been scientifically proven and tested to work for your skin. So I hope you guys enjoy. I believe skincare is a science. It's all about the ingredients that are in the products that you're putting on your skin and how they're going to change or affect your skin. Because if you just look at the back of like a skincare product and look at the ingredients list, it's like chemistry in year 11, like it's not good. So just a disclaimer before I start, uh, quite a few of these products um, actually will damage your skin if you're not wearing sunscreen because they, the way they change your skin is that they're working on a chemical level and therefore making your skin sensitive and sensitive to the sun and they'll actually damage your skin if you're not protecting your skin from the sun. Okay, so my first ingredient, which is a very popular one, um, is beta hydroxy acids or BHA. You may know um, a very popular beta hydroxy acid as salicylic acid. Now, a BHA is an exfoliant and this is a chemical exfoliant. Beta hydroxy acids work to buff away the dead skin cells, they dissolve the dead skin cells effectively and they will actually, the chemical will actually penetrate your pores and clean out your pores. This is almost the only way and definitely the most effective way to actually clean out your pores. One product I know which has BHA in it, in the form of salicylic acid, is this product by Paula's Choice, the Skin Perfecting Gel. They also do a lotion and a liquid, just for different skin types, but they're all the same. My next ingredient is kind of an anti-aging superstar. This one is retinol. It can also appear in the forms of retinol palmitate, or tretinoin, or tretinoic acid. Now, retinol is an extract of vitamin A. Vitamin A molecules are actually so small, they actually penetrate to the lower layers of the skin where elastin and collagen are found, and it actually causes your skin to produce more of it. Now, I have some of the tretinoin, or the tretinoic acid here. This is the prescription form of retinol, the strongest form. So this is tretinoin, or tretinoic acid. Retinol, or retinol palmitate, or retinoids, are over-the-counter retinol ingredients. This means that they're not as strong as the prescription form, but they still do the same effect, just at a slower pace. Benefits of retinol, as I said, being an anti-aging superstar, it does a lot. It um, reduces pigmentation, wrinkles, scarring from acne, refined skin texture. Effectively, retinol tells your skin to produce new skin cells, so, you know, go figure the anti-aging property. <laughs> The next ingredient is an ingredient called ubiquinone. This is a skin identical ingredient, which means it's actually found in human skin and actually in animal skin. And it is a collagen boosting ingredient. The next one is vitamin C. There are four forms of vitamin C. The first one is L-ascorbic acid. The next is ascorbate. Then there's calcium ascorbate and ascorbyl palmitate. Now the benefits of vitamin C is it produces collagen, it has a brightening effect on the skin and can make your skin look quite radiant. So the next ingredient, and one of my favourite ingredients, because I have bone dry skin, hyaluronic acid is amazing for people with really dry skin. It is a skin identical ingredient, so it's already present in your skin, and what it does is actually it plumps your skin up and makes it look really youthful. So that's why when we're young we look young and um, we look, when we're young we look young. Um, we look, we, our skin looks beautiful and fresh. It's because of a lot of different things, you know, like collagen, elastin, but also hyaluronic acid. And that's why when you get older your skin loses its suppleness, which is effectively the sun damage reducing the levels of hyaluronic acid in your skin. The next ingredient is niacinamide. This is a potent antioxidant. It helps boost the production of collagen and elastin in the skin. It can also be used to treat hyperpigmentation. It's also great for wrinkles as well. It's a, just a really good all-round antioxidant, which is found in a lot of different products, such as um, a lot of the Olay products contain niacinamide, which is why I like to use them a lot. Um, this one, and also 
the oil, all, pretty much all the Olay Regenerist um, moisturizers and serums contain it. The next ingredient is ferulic acid, which is derived from bran. It can be a catalyst for vitamin B antioxidants, so niacinamide, or it can also be a catalyst for vitamin E. But most of all, it's popularly used with vitamin C serums. This serum I have from Forever Young it has ferulic acid and it has been scientifically proven to greatly increase the effectiveness of the vitamin C and also make it last longer. So it's great. Ferulic acid, we love. A few other ingredients um, are panthenol, which is just great for hydration, glycolic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, so kind of the sister acid to beta hydroxy acid. This one does not penetrate the pores and does not get rid of blackheads, but it does repair the skin from sun damage as it will kind of resurface the skin and buff away any dead skin cells and reveal a fresh layer of skin underneath. Finally, a rather interesting ingredient is matrixyl. A single study has been done on matrixyl and discovered that it could possibly be more effective than vitamin C or retinol. The only problem with matrixyl is that the only study that has been done on matrixyl was actually by the manufacturers, so it was therefore very biased. So keep an eye out and hopefully in the future someone will do some more research on it. Because honey, I need some more products. If you guys have any like questions about like any like products or ingredients or anything that I've mentioned here, um, just like leave me a comment because I like live and breathe skincare. But yeah, I hope you guys found that informative and helpful and I hope it wasn't confusing. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.